beautiful but windy day. We're out here in Quincy, Massachusetts. And uh, I was just, just leaving my sister's house. You know, visiting the fam real quick. And I said to myself, self, I'm gonna slap on the apps and see what kind of action we can get out here. So let's do this. Now, I will say this, Uber Eats is very active out here in the greater Boston area. So I've already gotten three hits from Uber, none of them that I'm gonna take. I'm actually just gonna pull over right here. I have Grubhub rolling, DoorDash rolling. Here comes another offer for Uber Eats. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm getting a lot of offers like this. This isn't the worst offer, but uh, I'm trying to avoid going into Boston because obviously traffic and parking is an issue. I'm trying to head up towards like the Braintree area, maybe Randolph, Brockton, work my way back, back up towards uh, Rhode Island. But uh, we'll see what we can get. Let's hang tight. All right, just got this one, $10 for 10 miles. Nope, we're gonna decline that. All right, so check out this offer. It's not the greatest offer, but it is going in the direction I'm trying to go. This is heading to Randolph. So we're gonna go pick it up in Braintree, and then we're gonna go to Randolph and uh, hopefully we can go up to Brockton, then we'll go up to like maybe Easton, Mansfield, and that's more familiar territory for me where I know that I can end up closer to Rhode Island. All right, so let's go pick up this order and uh, let's get closer to where we wanna be. All right, we're actually in Milton at the moment, heading up towards Braintree. When I first moved to Massachusetts, I lived in Dorchester for a year, not too far from this point here. Um, I'm very familiar with this area. Yeah, you can already see that traffic to my left building up. You can see it on the far left of the screen, man. That's going towards Boston. I'm trying to avoid that. Got the Braintree Mall to my right here. Here goes Starbucks right here. We're gonna take this little spot right here. You know? Just gonna snake in there real quick. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh shit. Katie? Thank you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. So we're at the location, but there's no instructions on where to go. So I'm gonna call the person, tell them to get their ass out here. Reverse action right there, ladies and gentlemen. Reverse action.
response. No response, we're gonna have to leave it here. Gonna need the red card for this one. Let's go. I'm not stupid or anything, but sometimes, you know, when I'm shopping for feminine products, there's just so many selections, um, I get confused. But I'm pretty sure I got the right products. Um, I texted the customer, sent her a picture of what I got, but she didn't respond. You know what I mean? I'm a 38 year old single male, you know? I believe I did my best with that. But if she was to complain, my hands would go up in the air. It's like, dude, you can see my name, you know, you, you might put one and one together and maybe this guy isn't too uh, fluent when it comes to tampons. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too fluid, if, if you will. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay, I've actually never gotten one of these orders, but $27 for 10 miles seems like a great deal to me. Um, what I do have is I have my extra large Grubhub pizza bag. Maybe that will be enough. Or maybe I could just bring in several of my bags. And uh, let's see if I have enough baggage for this order. All right, so we're here at the Braintree Mall. Took us less than five minutes to get here, right? I'm in a busy area. I'm noticing that there's a lot of volume out here. Um, and we're doing a pretty good job at staying out of Boston. Because if, if I take an order that goes down towards Boston, I could get caught up in traffic. And it would cost me some, some time, you know? and uh, don't want that. So we're doing a good job at just staying on the outskirts of Boston. Not many parking spots. It is a Sunday, and uh, we're gonna have to drive around looking for a spot. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. We're gonna have a nice little walk. You know what I mean? That should be good. Let's hope it is. All right, if this goes through, we're off to the races. It's a lot of parties right there. Money's already in the bank. Let's get it. Oh, did you guys notice that I got a, a sheet for my mattress? Thing's really comfy. Love it. Let's go, Bigfoot. Let's move out. Just gonna maneuver my way out of this congested parking lot right here. I think it's kind of silly when people waste so much time trying to get a parking space that's closer to the door. It's really not that long of a walk, you know? If you park back there. You know, you get some steps in while you're at it. People are just obsessed with getting as close to the door as possible, you know? I wanna make it a really quick trip to the door. All right, so this order is going to Weymouth, Massachusetts. Not too familiar with that area. Um, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's close enough to where I might end up in Brockton, which is an area I'm familiar with. It's a busy, busy area. And then hopefully I can make my way up to Easton, Mansfield. I would like to work that area. And you know, the thing is, is that sure, I can work wherever I want, but I'm really just trying to stay away from Boston, you know? So as long as I'm far away from that area, I think I'll be fine. I don't have to make my way up to Rhode Island you know, but it's just more convenient for me, I guess. It's my territory, but 
I guess everywhere is my territory, isn't it? You know, that, that's the freedom of being a nomad gig worker. All right, this is perfect. It seems perfect to me. It's only a 13 minute drive. Traffic isn't heavy going this direction because Boston is out that way. I'm glad I had the bags for it too because these people spend a lot of money on these catering orders and it just, it makes me look better. You know, it makes the restaurant look better when I show up with their food in a hot bag. You know what I mean? So I'm glad that we can do that too. They got dessert and they got a lot of hot food too. Snazzy. Dessert entree. Four oh one, twenty seven dollars, man. Let's get it. Okay, that was a success. And they're always appreciative of the hot bags when they see them. You know what I mean? Let's keep it moving. All right. So we're gonna take a little lunch break here. Just dawned on me that, uh... oh, whoops. I have, I have a wrap. All right, I have a wrap. My sister gave me this. Uh, shout out to my sister. Also had a delicious breakfast at my sister's house, man. She was hooking it up. Had some avocado toast with egg on it. And it was just delicious. It was good stuff, man. You know, I like hanging out with family for many reasons, but there's perks to it as well, man. I just love, love eating with my family. It's just a good, it's a good feeling, you know? So pleased that I got to spend time with the fam and uh, we're gonna pull over and eat some of this delicious wrap. I don't even know what's in it yet, but we're about to find out. All right, we're good. Let's eat. Got my table. Let's do it. Ah, oh, I forget what she said it is. Oh, it's two. It's, it's like two wraps. I'm just gonna have to trust, I trust my sister, so I'm gonna go ahead and just bite into this. Mmm. Oh, this is an Asian wrap of some sort. Chicken, brown rice, broccoli. And I'm seeing peppers in there, like bell peppers. Whatever, it's damn good. All right, so it's currently 3.30. I got a late start to the day, you know, cause I was hanging with the fam, but I don't really have a set goal, you know? I have a feeling I'm gonna make some good money today regardless. I'm glad there's two of these, man. These are freaking good. But if we're gonna be working out here all day, we're gonna be camping here as well. Not too concerned about it. We'll figure it out. So I've been pretty busy you know, these past couple weeks. Busy with work, had a trip to Vermont with my son. I've been working on a project that's been taking up some time. Overall, just keeping busy, man. So I haven't really been doing much content on YouTube. So that's why I'm doing this, man. I just wanted to put something out there, you know? So I don't really know what this video is about. It's kind of just me sitting in my car, eating Chinese wraps and doing deliveries. All right, we just got this offer from DoorDash. All right, $13, 4.7 miles. That's where we're picking up from, Papa Gino's. Nah, it's probably not ready yet, but uh, <laughs> I'm a hypocrite, man. Yeah, <laughs> I just drove to the nearest uh, the nearest door, but there's plenty of spots. All we need now is our hot bag. Go. 
All right, nice little stacker there. Let's get these dropped off. What do you say? Well, we are in a nice little suburb somewhere in Rockland, Massachusetts. Again, another area I'm not too familiar with, but a nice area all the same. <laughs> One down, one to go. All right, so after I dropped that order off, turns out it was higher than I expected, about six bucks higher. So I'm not exactly sure how that works. Maybe they added more to the tip while I was on route, or I don't know. Oh, we got the old school arches, man. Look at that. Is that us? All right, that was another handoff. A lot of customers have been coming out to receive the order today. I'm not dropping many off at the door. Otherwise I'd get that footage, but you know, it's hard for me to get footage when I'm handing it over to the customer, but whatever, it's done. Next. Reese's Ghosts. I don't know why that's funny to me. <laughs> Reese's Ghosts. Oh, man. Okay. Two. Zero. Zero. I'm just going to go ahead and do it do a drop in right there there we go could not access could not get in the gate So we just did a drop off here. We are somewhere in Easton, Massachusetts, which is a good spot for me to be in because I'm familiar with this area. We're in a apartment complex. It seems like a very quiet complex. There's no reserved spaces signs. And um, I'm inside of a spot here, empty parking space here, empty parking space here. I'm thinking about setting up right here. We're gonna camp where we landed. Gotta be careful though. So I'm gonna be looking around to make sure nobody's peeking out at me, you know what I mean? And um, we're gonna get set up as fast as we can here. Temperature's nice, 50 degrees. Don't need to cool the car, don't need to heat the car. It's literally the perfect temperature. So we're just gonna turn the engine off. Let's set it up. Oh man, here we are. We are in the back, we're in the lounge, everything's sealed up. We are officially in stealth mode. I was sure to look around to make sure that nobody was looking in at me, and so far so good. I feel pretty good about this situation. Um, very quiet area, but you know, if someone was to knock on the window in the middle of the night, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, all right? But part of this car life thing, like it has a lot to do with just having good faith that, you know, everything's gonna, gonna be all right. You know, I'm not uh, bringing any attention to myself. I'm not loud. I'm just very quiet. And I'm just going to be shh in the back here, straight chilling. Um, I'm about to go to bed, you know. I'm not going to watch any TV, really, or Netflix, I should say, because I, I just want to get some sleep. 
and there's nothing wrong with that. Let's talk numbers really quick. So today was a good work day. I noticed Uber Eats and DoorDash were really busy, so I decided to only work those two, and I didn't work Grubhub today at all. Uh, so between DoorDash and Uber Eats, pulled in about 197 bucks, and uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will touch base with you tomorrow, let you know how things went, all right, because this is just a random apartment complex. Hopefully there'll be no ghouls around here. See you in the morning. <laughs> All right, Brent, stop. All right, now we're good to go. Good morning, 7.30 in the morning. I'm gonna get up, um, great night's sleep, man. Just a dog barking over there, you know, that, that, that's all that's kind of annoying. But um, I'm gonna get up here, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait around here. Um, just gonna get up and uh, yeah, let's get up. This is my foot. This is my sock. Just like that. Nice October morning. Oh, don't ask, but I'm wearing th two green bands today. I don't know, I guess I'm just feeling super strong. Um, yeah, but we're still doing good, guys. We're just gonna fire up that engine. All right, so here we go. All right, so I had a great night's sleep here. Uh, it was a great experience. Temperature's nice out here right now, about 48 degrees. And that would be cold to some, but it's not really cold to me. And what I've noticed is that my body heat alone will add a little bit of heat to the cabin. Um, and I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts and I feel good. The question now is, where's the nearest Planet Fitness? Because that's where I'm trying to go. And uh, I don't have any service in this area. I noticed that. Um, well, I do have a little bit, but I'm, I'm not getting any service right now. Uh, so can't work the GPS, can't work the internet. Whatever. We're just going to head out. I, I kind of know where I am, and I think I know where to go from here. So I would imagine the Planet Fitness I'm thinking of is about 15 minutes away from here. No problem. We're just going to get out there, get a workout in, get a shower in. And uh, we're going to embark on our Monday, all right? But I'm going to add this location to my list of places where I can sleep if I'm near this area again, uh, which I'm not very often. But it's nice to know that this is just another area that I can car camp. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. That's going to do it for this video as well. I appreciate you guys for uh, rolling with me, all right? And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves.